In this video, we demonstrate our interactive simulation environment for elastic, plastic, and melting objects. During the simulation, we can change the material parameters on the fly, from stiff elastic to plastic, back to soft elastic, plastic, and back to stiff elastic. Because our model is based on continuum mechanics, material properties can be specified via Poisson's ratio and Young's modulus. With a Poisson ratio of zero, volume is not conserved. Using a high Poisson ratio, the model thins out when stretched, thereby conserving its original volume. Using implicit time integrator, the simulation of very stiff materials of up to 10 to the 8 newton per square meter is possible. Here we simulate a softer material using explicit and implicit time integration. For extremely soft materials, explicit integration yields dynamic details. These are damped out using implicit integration. In these experiments, we show only the physical volume elements, which we call fixels. Here, a stiff elastic cuboid falls onto the tip of a cone. We reduce the stiffness. Make the material plastic. And finally, viscous. By reducing the viscosity further, the material starts to splash. When the material is changed back to elastic, the user can lift up the various parts, including the baked donut. Here we show the melting of an object in conjunction with a detailed surface. After solidification, the object behaves elastic again. When the surface is stretched, the surfles are first elongated. If the stretch exceeds a certain threshold, the surfles are split along the principal elongation direction. Here, split surfles are shown in red. Even after extreme stretch, dynamic resampling yields a consistent surface representation. In summary, our point-based animation and modeling algorithm is capable of simulating a wide range of elastoplastic materials with highly detailed and adaptive surfaces.